your own transition, and we don't have to go talk about too much personal stuff because I know, but you went from someone who was not open to this stuff, and your daughter talks about how you, you know, were smoking, you were drinking, and then you had an awakening that we are all now coming into. I think the moment you go from what you're looking at to who's looking, you start to have that awakening. How did you do that? How did you go from someone, I guess, meditation? Meditation was a beginning, but I'm not, uh, right now, I'm always aware yeah. that I bring I am into every experience. Uh -huh. And as long as I'm focused on the I am, mm -hmm. in the midst of I am this, or I am that, or I'm enjoying this, mm -hmm. or that, then I'm never overshadowed by the experience. Mm. So you, the experience, as I said, is not who you are. You're the one who's manufacturing the experience. Mm. You're living the experience, and the experience is subsiding as memory into the I am. In the end, there's no only I am. And if you go deep enough into the I am, it is the Akashic field. It's the immeasurable potential of all that was, all that is, and all that will ever be. There are three ways that people awaken. Some because they have suffered intensely mm -hmm. and they've reached rock bottom and somehow they encounter fundamental reality. Mm -hmm. The second is they were brought up that way. In a sense, I was brought up that way. So I don't have to go through all the mm -hmm. stuff that people have to go through. And the third is... But you did go through some stuff. Yeah, but temporary. Yeah, okay. you know, because I was... I was brought up that way. And the third is as people get older and engage in their, suddenly become aware of their mortality, mm -hmm. then they get uh, interested. So uh, those are three common ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, crisis, yeah. uh, already brought up in the way, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, getting old and encountering the fact that death is stalking you. Every time you look behind, the prince of death is closer. We're on death row. The only uncertainty is the method of execution and the length of reprieve. So they say, what the heck is going on? And they have that awakening. Because I am is not subject to death, mm. right? I am this, I am that, I am having that experience is time bound and therefore is born and dies. Mm. But I am is never born and therefore cannot die. Bhagavad Gita says, water cannot wet it, wind cannot dry it, weapons cannot shatter it, fire cannot burn it. It's unborn, it's not subject to death. That's the whole goal of what spiritual traditions call enlightenment. Was there a moment though where you said, I'm not that, I, I am? I, was there a moment in your life that you had that awakening? They say it takes a long time for a fruit to ripen, then one day it falls. and. So, in my case, I think uh, there were many such moments.